I'm the son of a railroader, so I love these railroad stories, and I have a few of these in my repertoire. There was a man there in Baton Rouge here just, uh, oh, it's been nine or ten months ago, and he applied for a job on the Illinois Central. The job he applied for was to work out on the line. So the foreman came in, and he said, now, Sam? Yes? Said, I've got to give you a safety test for this job that you've applied for. So yes, uh, yes, I understand. So he took him right out in the railroad yards and stood him between two tracks. He said, now, Sam? Yes? Said, if you were standing right here and there was a train coming from this direction 90 miles per hour. Yes. And one coming from this direction 70 miles per hour. Yes. And they're on the same track. Yes. Coming toward one another. Yes. What would you do? You say, I'd holler R of T. <laughs> he said, you'd do what? So I say, I'd holler R of T. R T said, Sam, uh, no, no, that's not right. He said, well, maybe... Maybe you didn't understand the, the question. He said, yes, I understand. I said, no, now look. There's a train coming. Yeah, this year, this year, this year train, you're coming 90 miles now this year away. So yes, I see that already. And you understand there's a train. Yeah, there's a train just coming 70 miles now this year away. So I see that. Yes, I sure do. You understand that? Yes, on the same track coming to one another. Gonna be a bad wreck. So yes, I see that already. He said, and what would you do? He said, I'd holler R or T. He said, well, no, Sam, that, that's not the right answer, but uh, what in the world do you mean? What do you mean you'd holler R.T.? So, oh, yes, sir. He said, I'd holler R.T. I'd holler R.T. just as loud as I could holler. So, you see, my friend R.T. ain't never seen no wreck that bad. <laughs>